From Till coming to Connor's defense against Jordy, to Jordy being mocked for talking trash without actually being a fighter himself. Here's Darren Till reacting to the feud between McGregor versus Jordy. The guy just couldn't get enough of the whole thing. So the whole feud started because True Jordy just couldn't stand to go another day without name dropping a celeb on his show The Pain Game. Someone has to say it. Conor McGregor, I think, has a problem. Now, I don't know the ins and outs of what that problem is, but the way he's speaking is worrying. If Jordy had just held on to his opinions or just phrased them better, he might be getting bashed by like every fighter ever. Anyway, Jordy went ahead and called Conor out, saying how he seems to have a substance abuse problem. Seeing how the Irishman has a history of trashing some of the most elite in the entire sport, it wasn't long before Conor dropped a voice note on Twitter, explaining in detail all the reasons why Jordy was just plain wrong. The best part is, the YouTuber seems to have a lot of opinions for someone who's never actually fought about in his life. Funnily enough, that was something Conor made sure to talk about in great detail. Maybe he had second thoughts and ended up deleting the voice note. But it's like they say, once it's on the internet, it'll probably stay there forever. Darren couldn't help but react to the voice message, mentioning how hilarious he found the whole thing. He did back Connor up and talked about how true Jordy has no idea what he's going on about. I'm sure you're wondering what did Jordy even say that got McGregor so riled up. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it does kind of look like Connor has a pretty fragile ego. At the end of the day, Jordy is just another YouTuber doing what he does best. I mean, from what I can tell, the only reason he was calling Connor out in the first place was because he needed some clout, and as sad as it is, McGregor fell right into it. See, the YouTuber made a few statements online about how McGregor abuses substances. Basically, he shot some hardcore shade toward the Irishman, and it ended up backfiring big time. Now, I'm not gonna lie, Connor's transformation is questionable to say the least, but these aren't the type of things you talk about like that and expect nobody to say anything. Honestly, I'm surprised that Connor didn't end up chucking another dolly at Jordy. Jordy went on to bash Connor, calling him a fake natty, and talking about how he's clearly lying to all of his fans by even claiming that something like this is even possible. I mean, yes, it's a bit unusual, seeing how he managed to gain a few 20 to 30 pounds despite having already reached and gone past his prime. Still, like I said before, you can't just call out the notorious and not expect to get the living hell roasted out of you. Anyways, this raises another important question. Has Conor been feuding with other fighters in the UFC? He isn't the type to stay quiet for long, and that much was obvious when he ended up starting a tiny feud with Alexander Volkanovsky. It all started when Conor decided to make a few remarks about how Volkanovsky was the pound for pound number one in the world at the time, and he ended up dissing the Aussie pretty bad. Of course, Volkanovsky is anything but a pushover, so it was just a matter of time before he sent a reply Connor's way. Eventually, Alex sent a message to the Irishman, announcing that he was prepared to face off against him, as long as he was ready to drop back down to lightweight. I'm not gonna lie, the thought of watching a fight between Volk and the Irishman is pretty exciting. Still though, Connor wasn't ready to give in just yet. From what I can tell, he's used to getting his way with things so he didn't waste a lot of time before shot back a reply the Aussie's way. He talked about how Alex was just hiding behind the division and that he didn't have the guts to come up a few weight classes and face him like a real man. McGregor is a real piece of work, and despite everything else people might say about him, one thing's for sure. And that's the fact that he knows exactly where to poke and prod to get into his opponent's heads. With that tweet, he ended up gaslighting Alex all the way till he tweeted back, talking about how he was ready to face off against McGregor, regardless of the time, place, and weight class. So, after everything was said and done, it looks like Connor ended up getting exactly what he wanted. Which makes you think about who'd end up winning if this fight actually happened. Well, the first thing you've got to understand is the fact that the only way this fight will probably end up happening is going to be on McGregor's terms. With that in mind, you already know that Connor's going to do everything he can to make sure the odds are in his favor. Since Alex already came out and said that he'd be willing to fight him, regardless of the weight class, he'll end up facing this new beefed up version of Connor. I don't know about you guys, but this new Connor isn't someone I'd want to mess with. He seems scary and not at all like someone you'd willingly want to step inside the octagon with. Of course, if it was a lightweight fight, it would be a whole different story. 
But the fact is, if this fight happens, it'll probably be at welterweight or more, and all it'll end up doing is slowing the Aussie down and making Connor's job easier. Anyways, getting back to the topic at hand, Jordy even went as far as to challenge McGregor to a fight. Alright, I know what most of you are thinking, Jordy has lost it. I mean, what's he thinking challenging a pro fighter, especially since he's never actually fought before? He came out and talked about how he's ready to fight Connor for a charity fight and how he doesn't care whether it's boxing or MMA. It's a pretty bold claim on the YouTuber's part. I don't think he realizes how bad those leg kicks hurt. Since he's also, say, bigger, he'll also be a lot slower than Connor. If you ask me, the fight will probably end with Jordy gassing out, way before the final bell. Besides, everybody and their mother knows that Connor isn't dumb enough to step inside the ring with Jordy, with such a huge difference in weight between them. What'll probably end up happening is that Jordy will probably end up having to go through an extreme cut. The funny part is, he probably won't even make it through that either. He'll probably end up having to pull out of the fight. He has like, no experience meeting weight requirements. So him having to prep for McGregor as his first ever fight, well, things aren't going to turn out too well. If anything, he might even make it into the ring or cage. But then, Connor's going to dance around him all night and make sure he regrets ever challenging him to a fight in the first place. Besides, fans are already mocking Jordy for even thinking about a fight in the first place. I'm not gonna lie, Jordy asking for this fight was probably the dumbest decision he could have made at that point. I mean, the dude is big, sure, but that doesn't mean he'll be able to take an accomplished fighter like McGregor on. It's going to take a lot more than size and strength to help him win that one. There's the simple fact that Jordy has never actually fought anyone before. At least not in a pro setting. It's not as easy as he thinks. Otherwise, every big man would be out here trying to fight UFC lightweights. What Jordy doesn't get is that a UFC lightweight is the same weight as normal people. Sure, the name might be a little deceiving, but that doesn't mean that they are some chumps anybody can take on. That's far from the truth, and Jordy will realize that pretty quick. There's a reason why everybody's been making fun of him instead of supporting him, or at the very least, taking him seriously. Honestly, I think it'll be a pretty one-sided fight. There's no way Jordy wins this fight, unless of course he somehow managed to land a lucky punch. That's like the only scenario where his whole size matters argument comes into play. Even then, I wouldn't bank too much on that happening, because Connor's fought in the cage long enough to know how to deal with something like that. If McGregor does somehow agree to go at it with him, it'll definitely be a hyped up fight. Plus, Connor will definitely come out of this with a shit ton of money in his bank account. So from Jordy being mocked for talking trash without actually being a fighter himself, to Till coming to Connor's defense against Jordy, that was Darren Till reacting to the feud between McGregor versus Jordy.